Uh, okay, Gabe, you wanted to go first. Yes. All right. Um, so you guys probably know that I've been doing some managerial stuff. So just going to quick uh, overview in the next 10 minutes here. So Discord roles for everybody's job has been assigned. We're only missing one person, uh, which is Christian, who doesn't seem to be here. So if anybody knows Christian outside of class, please tell them to pick one of the jobs um, and hurry up with that. If they don't, then I'm sure Dean doesn't want to have to deal with someone who's not answering anybody. Um, uh, next, we have a Google Drive folder that we're going to be having all of our work stored in so everybody can see everything that's going on. Everybody has access to it. There's no question as to where work is. So if you haven't already, send me your Google email address so I can add you. I don't want to just send out a link because then you will be anonymous when you're working on stuff and I want to know who's doing what. Um, in that sense, I'm missing a Google email from Nathan Booth and Anthony. Uh, everybody else seems to be set on that. Uh, so if you don't yeah, send me those, that though before. <laughs> I don't have your email. I said, I give you my email. <laughs> you, you said, yeah, but you sent it to my Google email. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if that was your WPI one or not. All right. I, mean, I don't remember. It's the okay. Same. I'll use that one. Then just Nathan Booth. Um, you want the WPI one or the normal one? The Gmail as long, one? You're, as long as you gave me one, you're already set because you're in the, you're in the Google folder. All right. Um, uh, so going off of that, uh, we're going to be doing all of our work here. So there's separate folders for every section of work, tech, gameplay, art, writers, yada, yada. If there's anything that you're doing outside of Google Drive that can't be actually done there or stored there, there is a document called external links. Please put a link to whatever work you're doing elsewhere there so that we all have access to it. Um, the spreadsheet for everybody's job is linked in there as well. There's also a schedule and due dates document in there that will serve as kind of a, um, just an overview of everything that's gonna be due on certain days and kind of just an ARG overview as well. Uh, in terms of task management and assignments for everybody, we're gonna be using Trello for that. Uh, if you haven't used Trello, it's a very handy project management tool. I have a link for that under external links. Um, so please click on that, uh, make a Trello account if you don't have one and join. Shout out to Jaden for already joining. Um, and then a little bit of homework for class by Monday. There's a brainstorm and seed research document that I've created. So please put any ARG ideas or research that you find about our seed down in that document before class on Monday. And shout out to Riker for already putting a nice little write up on uh, our seed for us. And team leads. So Jack for writers, Sky for artists, Reagan for gameplay, and Ben for tech. Please reach out to your group on your Discord channels and figure out the best way for you guys to all work uh, and do the things that are going to be coming up in the next weeks and find some meeting times for you guys to work outside of class, use when to meet, yada, yada, yada. There's only 12 days before our ARG goes live. So plan to have, you know, a few handful of meetings over the next week and a half. Um, so I think that's everything I have. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay, I'll, I'll tell uh tell you what i told 3 p.m um use this weekend uh to to brainstorm story and hopefully um writers group along with producers hash out uh kind of what the arc of the story is uh, are you know is uh uh the the mad scientist going to open a dimensional portal to H.P. Lovecraft's racist dimension, um, uh, you know, whatever it is. Um, so so uh, everybody always seems to want to have input on the initial story. Um, so uh, usually, well, again, you guys do whatever you want, but uh, uh, put together a brainstorm and then uh, those in charge sit down with the brainstormed ideas and figure out what 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 it is you're going to settle on so uh so that on monday f with your time you you come back in and say okay here's here's what the story is elevator pitch right and then everybody knows what we're working on right uh also mckenna can you hang out after class today um, so we can talk about grading just 
we uh, haven't talked about yeah, sure. grading a thing. Um, uh, I have a meeting at five o'clock. Okay. Um, so hopefully at four fifty, uh, tell me class is over. Okay, we'll do. <laughs> uh, anything else from producers? I think you're done. You done? Uh, quick thing, just going off of that. Yeah. In that case, uh, everybody put your ideas down in the brainstorming and research document. Um, probably before Sunday so that myself and the writers can all meet sometime on Sunday and come up with a basic overview like uh, Dina just mentioned. Cool. Great. Excellent. Um, Do you want us to label who came up with what or does it ma not matter? Yes, there there is a format that I have on the document for just putting your name and your ideas. Okay. Okay. Dum, dum, dum. Um, I, I got to say also, fun fact, uh, today was the best attended 3 p.m. class in like a week and a half uh, because everybody suddenly freaked out that they needed a job. Um, so <laughs> um, uh, okay, so I got to go over some stuff. Um, ba -ba -ba, and edit the assignment a little bit probably so uh make an arc i put up the assignment in canvas today um what's going on do i have chat it's, no maybe uh so i would just like to point out that uh uh 3 p.m solved the missing locksmith arg uh about a day before you guys did so uh they they are they have some serious puzzle solvers and they they will potentially kick your ass in solving your stuff just saying they 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 have some formidable people in that class and they they have come back into my good graces um in solving well, we, we just have stuff. to make it really hard then <laughs> <laughs> um okay so i'm gonna share to do, do uh, make an arg do, 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 share. Okay, here's the canvas. Um, I I have already screwed this up, so I'm gonna fix this. Monday is five ten. Um, not. Let me do, just double check that. Ah, I hate this little pop up. Uh, Monday is May tenth. Yes, not. And it should be Wednesday is five five. Oh my God, everything's wrong. Uh, by five p.m. Wednesday, May fifth, and Monday, May tenth. Monday, May tenth. I got all the dates wrong. I got to fix that. Um, so, ba -ba -ba. Uh, also, I, I remember this already. Um, writers, writers. For some reason, I assigned um, uh, a writer thing to gameplay uh, outline slash list of each day's story beats, uh, including who is responsible for each writer's uh, and that way I can get gameplay for each day's gameplay activities, not story beats. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, save. So, okay. Um, uh, so args um, have to uh, be ready to go by Wednesday, uh, 5 p.m. Wednesday, May 5th. Um, that doesn't mean everything in the arg has to be done on wednesday may 5th at 5 p.m that means you have a rabbit hole discoverable what is a rabbit hole um uh it is um the initial attract of your game so uh it might be a video it might be a, a notice it might be an email um some uh, public thing uh, in the past, many, many places, many, many args 
uh, used posters put up around campus. You don't have that luxury. Um, so it's got to be online somewhere, uh, whether that's a, a video or what have you. And then you post uh, that rabbit hole in various uh, uh, WPI centric places, um, whatever your message boards are, um, where, I don't know, where do you people hang out with each other? Do you hang out with each other uh, to, to like get announcements and find out when things are happening? Is that a thing anymore? Uh, I mean, we kind of can. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Like but is there like a, a a message board or something? Kind of, kind of. Is there <laughs> like a <laughs> Reddit? <laughs> I think there is, but like, <laughs> how do you use it? I don't know. Is there a WPI Discord? Is there a Reddit, a subreddit? I don't know. Wherever that is. I'm uh, pretty I guess sure there's a, there's a Discord. But... Okay. Well, so I can post a link to it if you want. Okay. Um, when you have it. So the the idea of a rabbit hole is that it it's it's both an attraction and a collection place. So the idea is that you put out your rabbit hole for some period of time before your game starts. Um, and uh, you say, you know, people congregate there uh, virtually uh, in that you, they sign up for something or, or, you know, they join a discord server or um, they uh, fill out a form that says, yes, I am interested in your newsletter. Right. Um, I would like to subscribe. Uh, and uh, you, you, as part of the rabbit hole, you say um, when things are going to start, right? So you say on Thursday at 9 a.m., um, we expect to get our first message from the other side and we will disseminate it here, right? Um, so, uh, People aren't like, because granted, with rabbit holes, normally people go, oh, that's weird. And they click and they're like, huh, well, nothing seems to be happening. Okay. And then the goodbye. virus installed. <laughs> Say what, Riker? I said, they, they, they see this, they think that it looks weird and they click it and then the virus is installed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then the virus installs. Um, so, um, no, don't do that. Uh, so, uh, uh, your, your, um, rabbit hole has to be up by Wednesday at 5 PM, but it can go up earlier. You can put it up on Monday. Um, uh, in the past, they've put it in the WPI student newspaper, which used to have a physical, uh, actual newspaper that came out every Monday or Tuesday. Um, and it would come out and then it would you know, people would see it in the newspaper and follow up on it online and, and put in their information. So uh, that's when the rabbit hole has to be, be ready. Um, they must be completable um, by noon on Monday, uh, on, uh, the following Monday. Uh, that basically means um, and it's a little weird for args because most args just go and go and go and go. Um, and either uh, people find the, the solution or it just sits there waiting for them to go some more. Um, but here we have kind of a hard stop date of that Monday. Um, and, you know, there's extra credit involved and people get really serious about solving the other arg. Um, so... It must be completable by noon on Monday. That means that everything that is part of the ARG must be out there and ready to be found by noon. Um, theoretically, uh, they the players could solve everything at 12.01 and be done at noon on Monday. Um, and, and it's also a little weird that there's a win condition. Um, in this case, uh, uh, it has to be finished by 7 p.m. on Monday. That gives seven hours. 
uh, to finish it. Um, there, there in the past, there have been like the the um, the impetus to make an event as the final climactic uh, thing, where you know uh, uh, all the priests are going to gather at the fountain at WPI and and open the rift at at six p.m. And so they can't you your players can't actually uh, complete the the arg until 6 p.m. Uh, I'm telling you now, uh, it should be completable at noon. Please don't make your last thing an event either. All, it has to be all online because we're we're uh, we're remote, and some people aren't even in Worcester or on campus. Um, so. Uh, your final thing should be a kind, uh, some solve, some uh, uh, one year it was great. They said you, in order to complete the um, the the arg, you have to uh, get into the servers of the evil corporation and uh, uh, copy this file. And that file was a text file that said uh, plague chicken. Um, and that was um, the, the win message. Uh, when a player wins, there should be an indication that they have won. So uh, uh, once you, you got into the evil corporation server, it said, congratulations, you have won. And a request to send a particular code phrase, picture, or text file or what have you to me, Dodo at WPI. So I got a bunch of emails that said plague chicken. And I look at the date and timestamp on those emails and say, Oh, this is the first one in. They, they get the win. Uh, their class gets the extra credit. Um, everyone in the class doesn't have to finish the ARG. Just one person, that one person gets everyone in the class five points. Let me also say that the this entire um, this entire assignment is worth ten points. So when I say five points, I mean five percent, not five actual points. Not worth the extra credit is not worth half uh, of the the total amount. It is worth it, it, out of ten. It is worth 0.5 points. So theoretically, if you um, if you run a perfect arg. Um, solve the other classes arg first and get 150 achievement points, which I will talk about in a second. Um, you could score 11 out of 10 on this, uh, on this assignment. So just letting you know. Um, so, uh, uh, have some sort of code phrase, something one year, they had a picture of a kitten that they had to email me. Um, that was fun. I got a lot of kitten pictures. Um, uh, so uh, there we go. Uh, there must be a forum. I, and I don't mean specifically a forum. It can be any kind of place. Uh, I don't care what software you use, what, what you do, where your players can meet and collaborate on solving your art. Set up a Discord server. Uh, make a Slack channel. Um, uh, one year they did a subreddit. I kind of hate how how subred how Reddit is organized. I can't follow conversations. I didn't like that year, um, but it was a place where people conversed. Uh, or you know, they go to uh, uh, one of these free forum places, Zen forum, Open forum, whatever, um, and they make a forum about the ARG, and people talk about it there. Um, I've already said there must be a disclaimer page. Um, this has to go up uh, and it has to be linked from everything. So if you send an email as a character at the bottom, there should be, a, a, you know, in tiny text, uh, confused, check out our disclaimer page with a link. Uh, if there's a web page, that should be at the bottom, a link to it. You don't have to put the disclaimer at the bottom of every page, just a link to the disclaimer. Right, so that that still preserves some sort of fictional world, but 
we break the fourth wall in order to not uh, scare people and make people believe in QAnon and stuff. So, um, ba -ba -ba, uh, let's see. Um, notice this assignment is worth 10 points. Um, I need you. Uh, each group kind of has different requirements for this assignment based on your group. So um, producers need to get me the disclaimer page, the rabbit hole. And that doesn't mean the producers are responsible for creating the rabbit hole, but they're handing in the rabbit hole. Um, a win loss condition and explanation and the code picture, whatever they're going to send to me. Um, and, you know, it can be nonsense. It doesn't have to uh, apply to your, your particular ARG. Uh, just something that no one will guess um, because uh, when it gets to be 6.55 on Monday and they still haven't figured out the last puzzle, people start sending me random guesses. Um, and so make your final win uh, phrase or, or thing not easily guessable. Uh, uh, so, uh, tech people, uh, URL of where everybody or, or some other way to get to uh, wherever everybody's going to congregate to talk about your ARG and a list of your tech assets and who is responsible for each. Um, writers, uh, no more than a two-page uh, kind of overview of the story of the game and an outline and a list of each day's story beats, including who's responsible for each. Um, gameplay, you get the outline and list of each day's gameplay activities and who is responsible for each. Art, a complete list of art assets and who is responsible for each. And uh, community manager, the complete schedule over the course of the, the, R, the other ARG uh, and who in your class is playing the other ARG on which day. Um, so you'll note that the ARG doesn't have to be complete and ready to go, but you have to have a plan uh, for it to, to uh, be made by the time it goes live. Um, I would expect that at least day one would be done by day one. Because <laughs> that will, if it's not done on day one, that would make it hard for them to complete day one. Um, so uh, be careful about that. Um, uh, then uh, let's talk about, go back to assignments. Uh, ARG achievements. Uh, I need you. Uh, there's one more role that I need that uh, you can put one of the extra people on this. Um, or uh, usually we don't have enough roles. Uh, so somebody doubles up on this role, um, but we need somebody to be an achievement czar. Um, this is the person who keeps track of what achievements your class has um, uh, completed thus far. And uh, in fact, I'm gonna share it in a more readable format. Um, and at the end, uh, you are going to uh, uh, coordinate with McKenna. McKenna is going to go over all the achievements that you say um, you have achieved and uh, either confirm or deny them. Think of McKenna as the, uh, the person who comes over when somebody yells bingo and double checks on all the bingo uh, things that you, you have completed and says, yes, 150 points, or no, not 150 points, okay? Um, but one of you has to be in charge of keeping track of it all. I don't want McKenna to have to look at every single thing you do over the course of the next two weeks and decide whether it's um, a, 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 an achievement or not. Uh, so uh, here is... Uh, the Word doc, which is also downloadable from Canvas. Um, in fact, let's um, 
Does that mean when the achievement czar reports to you, you're just going to take their word for it? Um, I'm going to take McKenna's word for it. McKenna is going to check and make sure that that they actually got those things. See what you see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Well, it. I think like if she's doing it manually, then what's the point of having another person be the the czar? Um, because they're the one collecting that. She's not. She's not going to go to every single thing. Because I'm not counting your points personally. Yeah. You need to count your points. I'll just look at it and be like, "Yeah, that works." <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's, it seems reasonable to me. Um, uh, so what I say is, um, so for instance, uh, achievements. Um, uh, I say use Instagram, right? Um, the your achievements are uh, says we used Instagram, and. McKenna says, oh, really? Okay, show me. And either has a, a printout of uh, the, the Instagram uh, page or um, has it on their phone or what ha whatever, however it works. I don't know if my space is still running. Let me just point out that when I originally made this achievement list, my space was cool and hip. Um, so what about AOL? Hey, um, I have my, my, my butt covered, um, down here, use some other web 3.0 site that Dean hasn't heard of. Um, that that's my butt cover, uh, achievement. Um, if you, uh, if you use AOL, that would be interesting. I, I, you know, uh, I always used to joke that you'd make a GeoCities page, but you can't anymore. GeoCities is gone. Um, so uh, these are these are all the things that I can think of. I I added TikTok this year. Um, uh, all the the kind of media that you could possibly use. Um, I've added, and there most of them are either two points or five points, depending on um, how kind of personal um, and and maybe how kind of uh, interesting they are. So, like, I creating a PC game that conveys story or gameplay info that's a little more involved than making up a fictional Facebook page, right? So, I give you fifteen points for that. Um, question I, I, the uh if we for the domains if yeah. we so if we have two would we also get the use one no that Damn. was my next thing Damn so <laughs> uh they 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 are not additional uh they are cumulative right so getting three of them does not get you 70 points is it 70 uh it only gets you 30 points Okay. Um, yeah. Don't game the system. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> uh, it was a genius. Just yeah, yeah, I yeah, know. It's uh, you know, I understand. I, it's a common question. I get it every year. Um, uh, people want one quick. Can you even make a Facebook app anymore? I don't know. Um. An iPhone app is really actually more difficult than 15 points, but I'm not changing it, haha, -ha. um, because it takes a while to get it approved by Apple and get on the phone on the store. And even if it's a free thing, they have to approve it. So you better start programming your iPhone app now um, in order to get it up in time for the ARG. Uh, yeah, Android so. apps, on the other hand, they'll take anything. You can get one of those pretty easily. And I still give you 15 points. I'm not even sure you can do a Windows phone app, but I leave it on there. Uh, one year, one person had a Windows phone and made a Windows phone app. Um, and then the hard part for their players was finding a Windows phone to use the Windows phone app. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. So again, SMS messages, 
create an email autoresponder. I think that's interesting. Create a chat bot. Uh, what's a really hard one? Create and use a, a broadcast radio. So um, if you can get a get a ad on um, what is it? FNX. Uh, one of the the Worcester radio stations. Uh, you get fifty achievement points. Uh, internet radio uh, is actually quite doable, especially with WPI's radio station. It's an internet radio station, aka uh, a podcast, I guess. I don't know. Um, is WPI radio a podcast? Is it, or is it just live? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Um, create a book. So, so you get the idea. Uh, these are all to spur ideas for how to tell the story. Remember, the way you tell a story in an ARG is you break it up across artifacts, uh, whether those artifacts are, are web pages or YouTube videos or a book that, that you photograph, right? Um, and then uh, I'll even give you achievement points for making the safe forum, which is exactly what is required for the course. Um, hey, create a flash game. Can you even do that now? Uh, I'm not sure. And then we go to the people section, having five unique players, having 10 unique players, uh, up to 50. If you get more than 50, I would be amazed. Um, we have never had more than 50 players on any ARG in 15 years. Um, but if, if you get more than 50, um, uh, prove it. Uh, that's the other thing about these unique players. Um, this is why I have McKenna and the czar. Uh, you should work with your tech people on how do you verify unique players? Do they all have to sign a, up for, for the game on a Google form? Um, are you just counting unique impressions on a web page. Um, how exactly are you doing that? And then uh, I've got more granular ways of proving players and looking and tracking players. These are for tech people. Um, who Who's playing who's not in the three o'clock class? And uh, who's playing who is from outside the state? or from outside the country. Um, mostly the way this happens is uh, you, you get your friends from high school or your, your family or your, uh, your girlfriend at another college or your boyfriend at another college. And you know that your boyfriend is playing um, and they're in Wisconsin going to U of W. So you know for a fact that they're from out of state. And if you can get five of those, you get, uh, well, you get one of them, you get two points. Uh, you get five of them, you get five points, um, which seems off, but um, I may adjust these. Uh, so uh, the one way is I know my boyfriend is playing. Uh, the other way is some tech way to, uh, to identify and track IP addresses or, or just ask people where are they from? What state are they from? What country are they from? Um, and build that into your ARG so that you can actually get these achievements. Um, get five players over age 30, get five players under age 15. Usually the I put these in there to, to give you credit if you convinced your parents to play or your little brothers and sisters. <laughs> get them to play. Um, and then finally, I have what I call unachievements. Uh, these are negative achievements. These will accrue negative achievement points. Um, so first off, you get me fired. Uh, it's minus a billion. If you get me fired, uh, I will give you no achievement points whatsoever. Um, get me scolded. One year, they were so far above 150 achievement points. And I think I, I, I originally had this as negative 50. They were like, we could get Dean scolded once. Let's, oh, 
Ooh, we could get Dean scolded and still get our five extra credit points. Oh no! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. And I was so I immediately changed it to five hundred, um, so that they were not going to get me scolded. I have been scolded by the administration in the past um, for things that have happened in ARGs, and I will tell you that story another time. Um, players attempt collusion between classes. Uh, collusion. You may know people in the three o'clock class. You may live with people in the three o'clock class. You may be related or have relationships with the people in the three o'clock class. Um, <laughs> maybe. Um, it's quite possible that you will be stuck on a puzzle in the, the three o'clock arg, and it will be very tempting to leverage your relationships in order to get information about what is going on in their arg. Um, <laughs> yes, you can. Um, so uh, if, uh, yeah, oh, David, you have friends. Um, so uh, if someone approaches you and says, hey man, uh, this, this calendar puzzle is really kicking our butts. Can you help out? You should say in a loud but firm voice or type in all caps, go pound sand. Um, it, is, it is an insult from the 1940s that I'm trying to bring back in vogue. Okay, remember it, go look it up. It's actually, actually Varun in the, the other class looked it up and it's from like 1897 was the original uh, Go Pound Sand. Um, uh, go Pound Sand isn't dirty or anything. Don't worry about that. Um, it is uh, telling somebody to buzz off, to go do something useless. Um, so uh, I it warms the cockles of my heart when I hear uh, somewhere in the uh, uh, hallways of WPI, uh, go pound sand, because I know that I have done my part to bring back a linguistic an anomaly. Um, so uh, um, also um, when people say go pound sand, uh, they know that they've had my class at this point. So, <laughs> So um, go pound sand if they try to collude. Um, and honest to God, one year uh, somebody was like, we were reporting, the, the args were running and I'm like, okay, where are you on their arg? And one of the guys was like, oh, we were really stuck on this puzzle. And then I asked my roommate and he told me this and this and this. And I'm like, that's he's in the other class isn't he and he's like yeah and i'm like that's colluding and i even i like said don't do that and i didn't give him the achievement points right and then the next day he did it again and i was like dude i can't i, I you're colluding you can't do that your 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 roommate is also colluding you get um uh 20 points minus 20 um players look behind the curtain um this is also uh something i i stress uh just because uh there are you're playing an arg to, this does not give you permission to cyber stalk or dox the people in the other class <laughs> okay so um, people are going to set up web pages, right? They may register domains. Their, their names and their addresses may be on the who is for that domain. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine. But if you do know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So uh, uh, once you see a person from the other class and you find it's their phone number and their address, don't be you should you should say oh i have seen behind the curtain i have looked backstage at the theater 
and I should not be looking at this. So I am going to back slowly away and forget I saw that. Right. So please, please, please uh, don't be creepy. Um, don't be calling people in the other class. Um, don't uh, cyber stalk them. Don't prepare dossiers on them. And I will tell them the same for you. Uh, uh, they, and when you're making the ARG, do not make yourselves characters in the ARG. Make fictional people um, because uh, they are going to be digging up information on these fictional people. And if you make yourself, they will dig up information on you. And you may not like the information they dig up on you. It is behind the curtain. We don't want you cyber stalking each other. Please, please, please. Okay. Uh, then finally, well, I just got sick of all this. No zombies, no ninjas, no Deka poisoning, um, Chartwell's poisoning. Um, please, the pandemic is is serious enough. Um, don't uh, use the pandemic as a story device. I understand if if you know your characters talk about the pandemic, uh, ninja zombie pandemic caused by Deka poisoning. It's been done. It has literally been done. All of them at once? Yes. <laughs> what? Yes. Okay, that's just impressive at that point. <laughs> um, they were trying to get pirates in there too. And I, I, I <laughs> shut that stuff down. And so. aliens. Alien pirates going against ninja zombies who turned <laughs> that way because of Deka poisoning and the pandemic. It yeah. all makes sense. Uh, um, so uh, uh, please... Because ARGs tend to be conspiracy theory related. There are enough conspiracy theories around the pandemic. I don't want it to scare anyone out of getting vaccinated. Um, I don't, I, I, there are so many things that, that are problematic with, um, with using the pandemic as a story device. Just stay away from it. Certainly, uh, characters in your thing in your arg can mention oh I, I've been locked down for the last year or whatever because that's reality um, but uh, don't make it a, a story point don't don't build your arg around the pandemic certainly don't make the mad uh, scientist of Malden Mass responsible for the pandemic um, that would be crazy um, please don't ask players to do something illegal uh, you notice how asking players to do something dangerous is is worth negative more. Um, that's because you guys all think you're immortal and you don't think things are dangerous when they actually are. So um, uh, McKenna is also um, charged with keeping an eye on you, especially on weekends uh, when I'm not to say, hey, maybe don't ask everybody to jump in that pool of freezing cold water. That would probably be bad, right? Don't get us on the news, exactly. Um, don't be a jerk. Uh, don't ban people if, if they're not being jerks. Um, and if you are being a jerk and you get banned, I'm going to take away achievement points. Um, also, because this happened fairly often, when you publicly post, and this this is not malicious, um, but it, one year it happened like three times. They just were not play testing their puzzles, and they were putting up puzzles that could not be solved, and it, was, it became so egregious that their players were like, "You are wasting our time." Remember, this this arg is happening the last weekend of the term everybody's going to be under so much stress uh it's supposed to be a stress reliever not a stress giver right so if you put up an unsolvable puzzle and people are interested enough to try it and they can't solve it and they spend a lot of time and then you go oh sorry i fixed it they want to kill you i don't want you to die um so uh, I have seen it. I have seen 
angry mobs uh, get get crazy on uh, ARG makers. So um, those are your achievements. We need an achievement, Tsar. Uh, start now documenting uh, uh, what you what achievements you've gotten and what you haven't. Uh, finally, one last a uh, bit of uh, assignment. This is for um, for the community managers. Share screen, uh, share. Um, uh, everyone gets 10 points for playing the other ARG. Get it? 10 points. It's much like playing D&D, except it's playing an ARG. Um, how do we know you've played the ARG? Well, you're going to make out a daily report um, that says, I did this. I did this, and I did this, and I did this. Um, uh, oh, I, I still was calling you player rustlers because that's that was the original thing, but really these are community managers. Uh, your grade for the art will be a combo of these reports and your postmortem. Um, so um, you are collecting them. You are making sure they fill them out. Um, don't leave it to the end. Get everybody's reports on the day they played or the day after they played. Um, and uh, once again, you... Uh, below it says submission type is on paper because Canvas won't let me specify via email. We expect electronic copies, not paper copies. So you're going to uh, uh, attach each day's player reports, uh, email them, not to Karen, Karen McKenna. How did I do that? Edit. Karen McKenna. Class is over, by the way. Okay. Uh, uh, you're going to email each day the player reports to McKenna and she will give credit for the, to those people who played on that day. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, 450 classes over. Thank you, Julia. Uh, stop. Um, okay. So uh, have a great weekend. Uh, get together, brainstorm all this. Uh, can't wait to see what you come up with. Um, I love these ARGs. I've been doing them forever. Um, they, they are the highlight of my year. So um, uh, get started, go to it, uh, have a good time. Um, and I will see you all on Monday. Thank you, Professor. See you Bye. Monday.